Previously on Naya. Jaron, you are one of the seven sons. He was going for my bag. He was he was trying to take my my bag off of me. The knockers! The knockers, they're coming for me! Those mines are completely shut off to the outside world, other than our miners who enter it, I, I find it very hard to believe that anything could have gotten in there. Anything sentient could be causing this. But what about unsentient things? <laughs> I mean, like rocks? Earthquakes? <laughs> <laughs> like everyone, there's a weird little creature behind the rock. It looks really mean. And I tried to kill it, but I couldn't because I'm poisoned. Um, okay, so you would know these from legend from when you were a child. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are called Sphirfneblin. Sphirfneblin? Sphirfneblin. Yeah. Dark gnomes. A bunch of rocks fall from the ceiling. Hello. Um, uh, sorry. I, I, I picked the wrong side. Um, no, it's good because you can run and get help. I can inspire one of you for the next 10 minutes if you'd like one inspiration. So I just reach my hand out. Okay. I don't know who's going to grab it. Do I our do. characters... <laughs> okay, that was selfish. And you see in the middle of the room an enormous statue of a hog. Oh. It is a cult. <laughs> oh, Kyle and Bile. I'm going to write a song about you. Y'all see a huge ogre with a giant club, like, running down the tunnel at you guys. You hear them kind of, like, laughing and be like, (laughs) Good job, Kyle. Oh, you too, Bile. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Oh, my God, they're adorable. (laughs) And he looks at all of you, and in, like, very broken common, he goes, Why hurt Ted? (laughs) Welcome to Naya. Hey, welcome to Nair. This is Jay, your DM. Uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Sure. I am Amy. I'm playing Bijou, the high elf glamour bard. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm playing Reeve Vitevich Kolosevsky. I am a paladin hill dwarf. Hi, I'm Ian. I play Harry the Druid. I don't like talking about my race. <laughs> I noticed that. I know. He's a furbolg. What's a furbolg? Nothing. Who are you? I'm Tatsuo, the human samurai. All right. So. And Aaron uh, also is my real name. Okay. What? We, <laughs> That's not your real name. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Where we left off, you guys just tried really hard to put an ogre out of his misery, and it finally worked. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> so sad. So you are currently kind of around the spoils of of battle, hanging out with Kyle and Bile. I use prestidigitation to clean off my dagger and put it away. Okay. We need to go. Um, yeah. We don't want to go any further in this tunnel, and uh, we need a rest, and we need to make sure we don't miss the funeral. Yeah, we better go. Hurry. Yeah. Um, 
uh, can can I see if there's anything on their bodies? I, I gotta bring oh, something yeah, back. Oh yeah, we want to loot though. I just want to see what's um, on the halfling or the uh, sorry the gnome. Uh, you you don't really see you don't find anything on the the gnome um, except for like some more like papers with schematics and and a bunch of stuff written in in gnomish and under common, um, which none of you guys speak. I'm gonna take it anyway. Okay. What should I? You can you, the, you can get the collar from the ogre if you want. It's a big studded, <laughs> like heavy duty collar. It wouldn't fit any of you guys, but you might be able to use it as a belt or something. I don't know. Change Ooh, the size of my neck sweet. so it fits. I can do it. <laughs> have a Come really on. wide neck, yeah. <laughs> or even thin. I who knows? Basically, um, just shoulders to face. <laughs> like a tree trunk neck. Reeve, um, do you think if we told your family that? There are no dark gnomes down here. Do you think they'd believe us? Or do you think we need to take this body back? To, um, just take one half of it. Or <laughs> Gross. Was it split in half? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. never like mind. Down well, the middle. There were the other ones that we left down the other hallway. Should we take a head or a body? Or do you think they would believe us if we We should take the ogre head. I don't that's think so that's not what what we need <laughs> um yeah i think we need to bring that's why i brought the papers but i guess we could um we could remove maybe harry could carry one of them yeah one of the bodies yeah harry are you um you're you said you're grabbing the collar yeah i'll take it um the bodies from before like are buried under the rocks mm-hmm. um so you can either like you could tell them to search the rock because they're they're currently mm-hmm. uncovering them now. But yeah, I guess as we pass back through, we yeah. can do them. Yeah, let's do that. Where's the staff? Can we um can we go back to the altar and uh, yes, I want to see what's there. Okay, yeah. as you guys walk in, um, what are you gonna kind of look around for? I'm looking Can't for anything. scrolls. Yes, anything. Okay. Tatsu is knocking on the pig. To see if it's hollow. Okay, it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Can she? You hear open like it an up? echo when you knock on it. I mean, you don't see like a a zipper or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can she like whack it open? Yeah. Um. So roll an attack on it. Seven plus three. That's fine. It doesn't really have a big AC. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a it's a statue. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So. You break open, you like hit it with your weapon and it like kind of shatters where you hit it and you can tell that it was made out of porcelain and like you look in and you can see just like a pile of of gold coins and (laughs) stuff in there. Aaron, we are all wearing headphones. (laughs) I just got it. When you yell into the microphone. (laughs) Sorry. It's not pleasant. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, What? (laughs) (laughs) you guys when you're looking for scrolls specifically you see a bunch of them that are um again all written in these languages you don't know none of them seem to be spell scrolls but they do all have like a lot of notes and and drawn schematics and things like that okay and also i want to cast um detect magic with my wand Mm -hmm. um to see if there's anything magical within 30 feet, like a 30 foot radius around me. Um, you is that where you, you do you see like a glow of area? Yeah, there's like okay. an aura. Um, you kind of see like a glow coming from where Tatsuo is. I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Well, What's I was glowing? Share. Inside of the the pig, there is a spell scroll. May I have this paper, Tatsuo? You don't need the paper, do you? No, I do not need that paper at all. What is it? Uh, it is aid. Oh, cool. I'm um, very curious in the ruckus up there where the the smashed portion of the pig is. Yeah. I go up there and look inside, and I see uh, you know see what Tatsuo sees the, all the gold. Yeah. And I just uh, do, do the gold. Does the gold have any markings on it? You guys, f- no. It's just like standard gold pieces. You guys find 120 gold pieces. And you find four more rubies. 
Ooh. Todd's one wants a ruby. They're all very tiny, though, including the ones that you found. <laughs> they're the smallest possible rubies you can find. So they're only worth 500 Yeah. I think like a tenth of the Oh, size. look, there's one for each one of us. That's so convenient. <laughs> we didn't see the ones you keistered. No. Nope. <laughs> um, okay. So. And there's also a potion of greater healing in there. Ooh. Mm. Tatsu, maybe you should take that. Yeah. yeah. I can. T- I have a potion of minor healing, though, so I can give that to someone if you want. Um, I'll take the minor. Yeah. And you take good. the greater, and I'll, I'll just run support. Okay. I'm going to... Let's just split the uh, pot evenly with the gold pieces. Okay. So we each get one ruby and yeah. 40 gold. Do you want me to hold your gold? Yeah, yeah. please. Please. Yeah, whatever that does. You're up to 190. So we each get uh, what was it? Was it one twenty total? Yeah. Yep. So we each get forty. Okay. Uh, and also, Ian, as you're looking around, you find thirty. We each Thank get you. thirty. Um, Sorry, we each get thirty. I'm bad you about find it. a pack of twenty crossbow bolts and twenty arrows. Mm, yeah, I'll take those. <laughs> I, I can't use them. I can use the arrows. Whoa, let's not get greedy over here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, what was it? A pack of 20? Yeah. Crossbow bolts and 20 arrows. Bolts, 20 arrows. I can't remember. I think she bought some arrows before, but she started with 20, but she's only fired off a, a couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, is, there any, is there anything else laying around the, the statue besides the gold inside and the um, the stuff around it? No, and meat. And meat. <laughs> You see a few, like, glittery rocks, but they're just rocks. You're talking about just, like, the rest of the room? Around the altar, around the statue. Oh. Can I just do a perception check of the whole room? Just kind of glancing around, walking around. That is an 18... 23. Oh, my God. (laughs) So you found um, 20 crossbow bolts and 20 arrows. I thought those were all but... Okay, whatever. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you guys thinking? Well, I think we've got everything, right? I took a handful yeah, of um, weird drawings and Kyle ceramics. and Bile were like they come in like way later mm-hmm. and they were just like like chatting to each other like and then did you see when I did the when I hit him with the with the axe? And yeah, that was so great. And you see when he swung it at me with the club and and I, I fell but I, I got right back up. Oh my gosh, that was so such a good job, buddy. That was it. And uh, I'm like, oh, hey, guys, where did, what did you, what you doing? Well, uh, you know, you were so heroic. I finished composing your song. What? They're saying this in unison. What? Would you like to hear it? Uh, we would love to. All right. I'm going to take out my mini harpsichord. <laughs> <laughs> The walls cave in and ceilings fall. You can't fit through because the hole's too small. You gotta find a way to save your friends. <laughs> so you dig on through that dead end. <laughs> you're out of breath because you've run a mile. You're tired because you're fighting a while. If you need two dwarves to make you smile, you better call Kyle and Bile. Yeah. They're they're like they wipe tears from their eyes. <laughs> like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> I'm going to give them each 20 gold. Wow. I'm also going to I make them. this in a week. Tatsu's not giving them crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving them anything. I want to give them 20 gold as well. Wow. You guys are the greatest. Also, wow. is there a way I can honor them as being being the son of the leader? Is there a way I can give them like an honor? Um, why don't I do that later? Yeah, you could like get your brother to give him a medal or something. Yeah, for a promotion. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll 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 look into that. I'll I'll, I'll I'll Kyle, I'll I'll I'm gonna have a word with my brother. We'll we'll talk later. Oh wow! Thank you, Mister. Thank you, Mister. Kolosevsky. This is that's such a that's such an honor. All right, so you guys are gonna gonna head back up to surface. Yeah, we okay. need to go to the funeral. Yeah, I don't know how much time we have. You've uh, you've got time. Okay. So you guys go up, and uh, once you get back to like the smelting area, and Kyle and Bile kind of grab the huge, like knock wrap on the huge doors, and they open up, and they're like, 
uh, there's a couple dwarves that open and they're like, wow, you guys made it. I'd, we'd kind of given up hope. What, what went on down there? Did we grab a body at all? Yeah. Oh, we didn't. Um, okay, so when he says what's going on, well, uh, if you keep digging in those rocks, you might find a body or two or four of some things that we killed. So you'll find out for yourself. Oh, my goodness. Is this, it the coast is clear, you think? We can. Uh, don't go too far in. <laughs> but, you know, when you find a body, maybe send it to the, uh, the Kolosevsky estate foundation. residence foundation <laughs> home place <laughs> keep. <laughs> oh, yes, we definitely will. We'll, uh, we'll update the, the family as soon as we. It's called the Kolosevsky co op. <laughs> There's a giant ogre. <laughs> A what? An ogre. An ogre in An the o- mines? I cut its head off. Oh my gosh. You guys must be great warriors. Nah, he was on his what knees. Do we, what do not we, us, just Kyle just and Bile over here. He yeah. came up. What do, what do we call you such great warriors? Do you, do you all have a party name or anything? Oh, um, oh man. Everyone mute their mics. <laughs> Hold on, wait. <laughs> I mean, I can edit it out. You no, don't have to mute them. <laughs> What are we gonna be? Bijou and the Rusty Spikes. God damn it. No. I was gonna no. do dirt and the Rusty <laughs> Spikes. This. Oh, you could call yourselves the Tiny Slicers. <laughs> tiny Slicers? <laughs> we, we could be called What's in the Box. Yeah, <laughs> what's your name? What's in the Box? What box? No, that's our name. <laughs> the Terrible Delivery because Service. The thing, because of the thing at the box. <laughs> terrible Delivery Service. I'm okay with this. Terrible, I like that. Hey, like we that. delivered <laughs> to that greasy man in the street. <laughs> That's the only thing we're anyone's also ever asked. Delivery service. Oh wait, we're <laughs> supposed to take those scrolls to Moon Lake. Mm-hmm. We delivered Reeve to his homeland. Yeah, <laughs> we're a good delivery service. We're an okay delivery. We should be service. delivery service. The okay delivery Not service. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Adequate deliveries. I mean, yeah, we could be a business. Let's, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, people yeah. like ask us to go take things places. Let's do it. Let's just call ourselves the delivery service. The delivery service. It's like the postal service. Yeah, but no. And then just some kind of catchphrase after. Well, that's we that's just the, it's with. it's Bijou and the delivery. Nope. Service. <laughs> <laughs> there nope. it is. Nope. That's the nope. It's, wow, I can't believe you guys you guys really helped us out there. Do you have a name that we can we can tell everyone? Yes, I will tell you what the name is. We're called the delivery service. Interesting, the delivery service. What did you? <laughs> What did you deliver? That's confidential. We don't <laughs> discuss our client's business. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Well, as a current delivery server employee, I would like to just... Never mind. I'm going to keep it to myself. Can you pitch it again? <laughs> Kyle and, and Bile come out and they're like, guys, guys, you should hear this song that this elf wrote. It oh, is so no. great. It is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I'm put these you, hey, guys, what did... Hey, deli- delivery service dudes, uh, d- can you guys meet us at the tavern later? And can you sing your song? We'd love to. We'd love to have all our friends hear it. Well, if you can book us a gig, totally, we get paid good money for it. I'll talk to the. Uh, I'll talk to the bartender, and and I'll I'll get back to you. Well, we'll let you know. Great. I can't wait for everyone to hear this song. All right. And they kind of like look at each other and like rub their hands and and run off and. Giddy B- before joy. they run off, can I like make sure they're not going to try to book a gig during when the funeral is? <laughs> <laughs> I think like everyone will kind of like, yeah, be at the okay. funeral. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure. So, are you guys going to go back up to the city area, or like, what do you think? Yes, for the yeah. funeral. Yeah, we're going to go to the funeral. Okay, as you go up, um, everything kind of seems a lot more somber than it was before, and. Uh, as you exit the elevator, um, you uh, a dwarf comes. One of the guards at the elevator like turns to you guys and is like, "Mr. Kolosevsky, we're we're very sorry for your loss. The whole city just found out." Yes, uh, my my father was a great man. Thank you for your condolences. They um, they say you know you should uh, I. We heard that your your brother was looking for you, um, up in your your father's uh, chambers. You you should all go up. You should all go and and talk to them and and 
Get details. All right. Um, all right. All right, delivery service, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, some kind of leader? <laughs> Not here. Don't give me that face. <laughs> um, Am I getting paid this time? <laughs> um, that was the worst. <laughs> Yeah, you ruined that happened. name for me. Now we have to find a new name. <laughs> we we have names. That's just a business name. It's All not right, like I'm gonna. Sure. I'm not gonna talk to my coworkers and be like, "Hello, name of business I work for." <laughs> I'm gonna talk to them as people. Right, you hello, fellow employees. <laughs> <laughs> hello, fellow employees. I am also an employee. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Okay, um, retake this. I'm still getting no. used to the whole. No, it's, 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 you can't retcon everything. Thing. You said it, and we're all cringing as we follow you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's just going to have a weird echo effect added when you say that. Okay, just to amplify it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. Um, all right. So you guys take the. Uh... Are Kyle and Bile coming with us? No, they're gone. Okay, you guys take the elevator up, back up to the top floor. And Tasso, how are you feeling about this ride? Still uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, the doors open up and you kind of see a lot of very official looking dwarves kind of moving all around. And Joran's right in the middle of everything, kind of talking to people, signing things, directing um, people around. And he sees you all come out of the elevator and he says, oh, every, uh, welcome back. I, 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 Reeve, do you have a minute? Can we, can we talk for a moment? Yes, um, in private. Uh, yes, yes. Let's. I would prefer that. Just, just very quickly. Okay. Um, and he kind of pulls you aside, and he says, uh, "Listen, Reeve, I. That that stuff that father said, and the the information about the prophecy. I. Have you have you told your friends about this? We all heard it, right? We weren't there. We weren't. There. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, and you're not there now. <laughs> I haven't had time to discuss any of it with anybody. You are, of, of course, free to make your own decisions, but I, I ask that you keep this between us, at least the part about uh, who Father was and, and now I, me being one of the seven sons. I, I would prefer... I, I don't know what it means yet, and I would like to do a bunch. I'd like to research it, and I would prefer that not everyone know about it right now. No, on my honor, brother, I will not tell a soul. Thank you, thank you. Um, and he's a, let's 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 rejoin your friends so they don't get suspicious. <laughs> Tatsu is very suspicious. Oh, I, say, yeah, very suspicious. <laughs> I look suspiciously <laughs> over. <laughs> what were you up to? <laughs> Hello, delivery service. <laughs> oh, I quit. Uh, Joanne comes over and actually, Sines comes out of one of the rooms as well and she says, Oh, you four, I have, we have a lot to talk about. I have, uh, I've heard some things about uh, a dwarf being cut in half in the market. <gasps> that sounds horrible. Yes, they said that a feral looking human did it. Hatsuo's eyes are darting back and forth very <laughs> quickly. And that there was also a, a another dwarf that n- that I he- I can't believe this is true or not, but I heard it was Oakengut was performing in the market. I cast disguise self and yeah. turn into Oakengut. It was you. <laughs> and as Oakengut, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Listen, <laughs> Oakengut died centuries ago. I was performing as Oakengut, and I was attacked by someone who tried to take my things and hurt me, and my friend saved my life. Yes, I did. That's hmm. it. This dwarf was not from here. No, he wasn't. We knew him from before. He was on a ship. He was a shippy dwarf. <laughs> 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 she kind of like I like side eyes everyone and she kind of like nods but you can tell she's like not a hundred percent like she's not gonna um, pursue it anymore but she's not a hundred percent convinced mm-hmm. why don't we um, brag about what we did she says oh. also 
I've heard tell, and she goes to Joran and she says, have you heard about what happened in the mines? There was a, a group called the messengers or the delivery boys or <laughs> I don't, they, they, uh, they found a, they, they uncovered s- sphere of nibblings. I put my, I put my, um, my fists on my, my waist like this. And I go, you mean the delivery service? <laughs> no, the delivery gang. That, must I, that was what they said. <laughs> I, as Oaken Gut, let out a huge belch. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Shakes the walls. A little bit of dust falls. <laughs> That's <laughs> my Oaken Tilt. I can't even do a trip. My, uh, my hands fall down. I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> Tato, like, nods approvingly, like, nice one, because she's very feral. <laughs> and appreciates feral attitudes. Seness <laughs> turns to Reeve and says, Are you. Oh, God. What is. Oh, it smells. Uh, are you. Are you telling me that you are this. You are the delivery boys? Delivery service? What did you say, Reeve? What did. What? Delivery service. That's. That's. You have a. You have a part of this? Well, yes, I do. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I... I'm going to pull these, the some of the, not all of them, like one or mm-hmm. two of the drawings that I yeah. had found, and I'm just going to hand it to her. We found these. She, she takes a look at them and says, wow, this is all written in, in Undercommon, and this is very interesting. She she turns she shows them to Joran and and ev- kind of everyone around. Says, do you do you all are you all able to read this? Do you know what this says? Nope. Not me. No. Afraid not. <laughs> she says I'm not I'm not fluent in Undercommon, but I. <laughs> it looks like there are schematics of the mine and and dates that our miners are working. Ah, mm. uh, interesting. That's. This must have been what has been causing all those. They, they must have been causing all those cavens that have been happening. You're welcome. Yes. Time for a shift change. <laughs> if you don't mind, I, our, our miners and and our party when they were attacked, they they stole a, a good amount of of money and and gems and materials from us. Have you, did you guys find any of that? Were you able to? Um. <clears throat> oh come on! <clears throat> All I found was this one ruby, and I hand <laughs> one of the rubies. Um. So she 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 grabs the ruby from from Bijou. And she's like, interesting. This just the one. That's all you you all found. That's very. There was a a hog statue, <clears throat> and they had left offerings around it of meat and interesting. These, this gem and. Wow, very, very interesting. I didn't think so. <laughs> I, we I reach into my pocket because my honor compels me to give back the things. So. Oh, here we go. Mr. Prince. Yeah, I'm, I'm a god. You know. So I'm like, <laughs> you belong I, I recovered band. this. I'm not sure if anybody else has. And I'm, I'm like trying to make them guilty. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I hand over the twenty, uh, the, the thirty pieces of gold, and uh, the ruby that I had. Okay. I'm <clears throat> whistling the ballad of Oak and Gut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so she she collects it. And she says, "Well, thank you, thank you very much, Reeve. I am. Um, you know what? You you keep the gold out. Uh, that's just payment for for your troubles, and you." Split it among your party. We we really appreciate the help. Um, I'm gonna take these rubies and I'll I'll we'll try and use them to recover some of our losses from these attacks. You mean the one ruby? No, she, he's got she's got two. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you just gave <coughs> my bed, my bed. She's got one quarter of all the total rubies. Who knows? Who <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> <laughs> I don't care about money, so don't look at me. Don't you don't carry guilty. any of it. Yeah. I take my what seems to be pockets and just show that they're empty. It's just my thigh. <laughs> uh, you do something about it? 
so she she le- she exits with the the rubies and um Duran turns to you guys and says the father the funeral for our father will will happen tomorrow evening at dusk uh you all are of course more than welcome to attend um we have special we we have a you can join us as the family up in the in the front seats. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it. The magnificent in the honored delivery road. company. Yeah, in, the, uh, in our in our you can you can join our family and as special guests and uh we hope we hope you will all attend. Until then, feel free to rest for the evening and um, do anything that you all need to do. We do. I do a sweeping bow and take off my blue plumed hat. Yeah. Those oak and cotton. <laughs> Tatsuo does like a you know it kind of thing, like with her sword, you know, like how people like tap I don't it. know what you mean. Like, Show us. You know, like a click in it, but she just kind of like <clears throat> salutes. I guess Stabs salute. her own eye out. Yeah. No. She like. Roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. She just like uses it to go like salute. Okay. <laughs> Two finger salute. But with a, her wakizashi, her little one, not the big one. Mm-hmm. Why did you have all the guards around pull their weapons out and like, we got a knife. We got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and they start like running at you. No. Roll initiative. Why are you pulling out a weapon? <laughs> and then one. Because that's just her style. I, I put my arm over her and just lower her sword. It's okay. <laughs> Wow, is that Oaken guy? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll see you again. Do you have anything to eat? Ha ha ha. They all, they all laugh. <laughs> um, uh, before my brother leaves, I'm I'm going to speak to him. Is he gone? We're, we're not gone, are we? You have you know? Go ahead. Um, there. Uh, I wanted to mention to you there was two um, very brave dwarves, dwarf gods who um, helped us in the cave. Um, Kyle, do you know, are you familiar with Kyle and Bile? The are, they, are they the twins? I believe so. I I didn't know their names. I just knew them as the twins. But yes, I am familiar with with their their station. They they showed extreme bravery under um, grave circumstances down there, and I I it'd be um, very very honorable to maybe increase their pay and maybe. A promotion is in order as well. Well, if they helped you with with clearing out the mines, then well, I will definitely promote them both to lieutenants and send them to the wall. Great place of honor. All right. Thank you for letting me know, Reeve. Mm-hmm. Now I must go and take care of the funeral arrangements. Hello, everyone. Jay here, your friendly neighborhood DM. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. We've we've really been having a great month in July uh, as far as finding new friends, finding new listeners. Uh, thanks to everyone who's who shouted us out and found us on Twitter. It's been really fun. Uh, we don't at all do this for the numbers, but it is really fun to see other people enjoy it um, because we are all friends who like to play D&D. And uh, it's fun to get together. And it's fun that you guys can enjoy it with us. If you have feedback about any episode, please don't hesitate to let us know. Uh, again, you can reach us at Twitter. We are at World of Nair. Or if it's something longer or you wanted to start a more uh, longer conversation, you can also email us at worldofnire at gmail.com. Uh, we very open to responding to that as well. Um, I know I mentioned this last week, but... If you use Pandora, check us out on there. We just got added on to Pandora. And we're getting paired up with some of my uh, favorite D&D podcasters. We're getting uh, recommended for listeners of Sneak Attack and Critical Role and some other really awesome shows. Uh, So if you like us or if you like some of those shows, um, check us out on there. We'd really appreciate it because uh, this is all part of Pandora's new project to get podcasts on and kind of link them up with other shows and and use their genome project for for podcasts as opposed to just music so we're super excited to be a part of this uh, pilot program and uh, I hope you like it 
Uh, other than that, I don't have anything else really special to say. Check out the VCR kids. This week we watched Tremors, which was a 1990 movie. Erin recommended it. She really likes it. It wasn't my favorite movie, but it was fun to talk about. And uh, if you don't know, the VCR kids is the other podcast that Erin and I have um, where we talk about movies from our childhood that we haven't seen in a long time and talk about whether or not they still hold up. So you can check that out anywhere. Just search for the VCR kids. It's pretty easy to find. Other than that, hope you guys are having a great week. Again, can't wait to hear from you on Twitter and an email and enjoy the rest of the episode. <clears throat> so where are we going? I'm going to go sleepy, sleepy time. Okay. You can go to bed if you want. <laughs> Get your rest in. I don't know. Where is the resting place? Yeah, uh, like are got, we on the same hall? So mm-hmm. you uh, take the elevator down one floor, and you guys have been provided quarters in like the family kind of area, like where you're on the floor that like Reeve and Sinessa's families live, um, and they have like some guest rooms and and things like that mm-hmm. that you can stay in. Um, They offer uh, two rooms for you guys. So how do you want to split it up? I'm fine with sleeping on a floor. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, Um, Each room has like one very large, lush bed. But they're very large for dwarves. So like if you're not a dwarf, your your legs will hang off the end. So it'd be pretty comical if I tried to. Yeah, you got to get closer. I'm going to sleep in a cushy bed. I know that. Okay. Yep. I feel more right on the floor anyway. Yeah, I'm going to take a bed. So Bijou and, and Tatsuo are taking separate rooms because they want the beds. Is mm-hmm. that what's happening? Mm-hmm. Yep. And then <coughs> Reeve and, and Harry are sleeping on floors. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I didn't know I was getting a floor. Okay, that's fine. Isn't, oh, isn't, a royalty isn't Tatsuo over here. Like, used to sleeping on the ground? She is, but she's <laughs> tired. Okay. Well. So she steals a bed. Okay, I Reeve, you can share a bed with with they're they're very wide. I'll um sure I'll I'll take the bed with Bijou. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you gonna ask or you're just gonna, <laughs> you're gonna crash? Hop right in. <laughs> hey. I'm like, oh, you can have it. Oh wow, <laughs> no, no, um, that's you, you, no, no, no. This is your house. I I was going to go take a walk anyway. Uh. I feel bad, so I. De- it's it, like I walk out of the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, what did you do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you try to get in bed. Not, not in that way. He called us the delivery service, <laughs> right? <laughs> Could have thrown magnificent out there or something. Ugh. Um. All, all right. right. So everyone is. Uh, is there anything you want to do on your walk, Bijou? Well, okay. I, I'm going to go for like a quick walk down the hallway to kind of explore and see like what room, like kind of who's mm. in what room and just kind of, I'm just curious. So I'm going to go like look around. Um, so I'm probably going to walk around and just, you know, just kind of stroll and think uh, for about maybe an hour. Okay. And then what I want to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to go back into the room where Reeve is mm-hmm. sleeping and I'm going to like nudge him. Rafe, Rafe, Rafe. <laughs> what? Harry, are you in this room or are you in the room with Tatsuo? Wherever you want to put me. That's not my choice. I That's guess your... he's in the room with Tatsuo because they're together. Maybe I like, I have a comfort in numbers. Your feral ass is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, I'll sleep on the floor with in her room. Okay. That's fine. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to pull out the um little sun with like the amber yeah, yeah. gemstones um so reeve i i didn't know that you came from such a a proud family and um well i saw that your whole family wears the the sun emblem and i i noticed that you didn't have anything that was a sun so i i got this for you and maybe you could you could wear the sun um, at the funeral. Oh, I'm touched. Um, for sure, I'd, I'd be honored to wear this. Okay. Um, well. I you know, I take it saying that I'm going to wear it. Um, do you mind if we have the window open? 
Oh, wait, it's it's not like You're out in, in nature, though, right? No. Yes. Yeah, like, ne- never mind. I, I don't say that. I forgot we were like, is there any light? Like, is there one of those lenses that has like a beam of light coming down at all? Or mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll just I'll just be over here. And since I'm an elf, I don't sleep. <laughs> I'm just going to trance. So I'm just going to sit in the center of the beam of light and just sit cross legged and just sort of meditate. OK. Um Tatsu gets into bed and lets Ralph out on the pillow. He likes the pillow. Okay. Um, everyone, as you're sleeping, uh, levels up to level four. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Which we kind of cheated in and looked at everything beforehand. Anyone have, anyone have any cool new stuff they want to share? I do. Oh. I've got pole arm master and basically with my quarter staff i get to have a bonus action um and hit them with the other end of the quarter staff nice which is pretty cool i took the actor feet so i can mimic people and have advantage <laughs> on more charisma stuff and uh yeah i got a new spell but you'll just have to listen to find out what it's gonna be cool i just took a big strength buff so um i'm just gonna yeah, strong boy. I'm going to be strong boy. I'm going to hit a little harder. Um, <clears throat> All of my cool stuff came at level three. Um, I don't know if I ever went over it. But um, but what did you do this time? She got just, I added to the strength in the constitution. So now she has 38 hit points. Nice. And she, her strength went up. So now her modifier is two. Nice. So now That's all good. her attacks get plus four, and her um, damage, she gets extra points for mm-hmm. damage, too. Okay. Um, cool. Anything that you guys want to do at all before the funeral? Because yes. you will have, like, a day, <clears throat> like, the daytime before the funeral, if you want, if there's anything you guys are thinking. How's I want to sell um, one of my rubies. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with her. You're going to have to do it in secret because I'm going to tattle if you do. If yeah, you do we don't like you right now. Yeah, We're I'm actually gonna, a trio. I'm going to avoid Reeve and okay. go do it on my own. Mr. Goodhart over with here. Harry. We, I wanted to see, because I didn't know, so I wanted to ask Harry about getting weapons imbued. We already went over this last time. There's nowhere here that you can oh. do that. Yeah. Um, only, I'm going to... The only resource you guys have is Davis. Yeah, so we're going to wait until we go see him again. Yeah. I'm going to um, spend the day kind of preparing. Like I, I'm gonna, it, I, I'm guessing that all my family is gonna wear like armor and stuff to the wedding or sorry, oh, to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> the Celebrations, my <laughs> lord! I came to see your father's <laughs> like, funeral. You know, you no, know, like, so you would, um, like your your brother might wear like a like kind of like military blues except they would be blacks you know what i mean yes like, exactly but everyone's going to be basically like dressed in blacks and okay like well i'm going clothes and stuff i'm going to um i don't know i guess i don't want to shine my armor but i want to make it look very presentable and, and try to buff out some of the battle battle tear on it okay um and kind of uh get the a black cloak where it um over my armor and buff out the armor Okay. Um, is it? Are you looking for something like really like nice? Or really formal, looking? yeah. I mean, my father just died, so I'm, right. I'm trying, and I'm also trying to make a really good impression with yeah. everybody now that you know, because given my reputation, um, I'm gonna try to try to look as presentable as possible. Okay, you find a um, a very high end tailor. It's not on the main market, but it's kind of like on one of the upper levels mm-hmm. um, because it. It's too nice for the commoners, but uh, <laughs> uh, you can get like a very nice, like tailored kind of like black outfit that would cover your armor and everything for about uh, ten gold pieces. All right, I do that. Okay. Um, you Bijou Bijou Harry's coming with you, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys um, actually find the same um back alley salesman <laughs> okay you know what my uh my persuasion is plus eight now so bring it on yeah he uh he's like oh hey you guys uh i heard you're looking to sell some goods and do a little under the table trading 
Yeah. Um, he opens his jacket and he's like, you want any more sons? No, uh, I think we're good on sons. You, um, you guys still got that rod you want to sell? No. Can I please talk? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Good Sorry. Lord. Um, all right. So I've got a ruby. Ooh, very interesting. And it's quite nice. And I, I take out one of the rubies. Yeah. He like reaches for it. To see if ah, pull I'd it like away. Move away. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh wow, that. It looks like a ruby, but I would definitely have to inspect it to make sure. All Ooh. right. Well, any funny business, my friend Harry will rip your arms off. But <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, intimidation. Roll an intimidation. Yeah. Oh, Harry. Oh God. Oh no! <laughs> you rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> he looks at you and like. <laughs> This guy I don't, looks like a bit of a softy to don't me. Don't look at him. <laughs> don't look pores. at him. He doesn't like, like it. You're like eating something and you look around, huh? Like a popsicle or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a lollipop. Not even paying attention. <laughs> yeah. huh? It's like a big baby face. Like, <laughs> um, like, all right, all right. No, I promise. No funny business. I'm, I a, I'm a businessman. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a businessman. And he like breaks out a little kind of uh, one of those little jeweler's eye lenses and he looks at the ruby he's like wow this is pretty impressive where'd you find this guy well you of course don't have to tell me i don't of course i won't (laughs) (laughs) i'd be interested to know but uh, i understand no questions asked is kind of the the deal that i offer um he turns it over and he says i could give you let's say 400 for it I slap him in the face. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what am I rolling? Strength? An attack, I guess. Yeah, it'd be strength. Yeah. Uh, 13. I mean, he's not wearing any armor or anything, <laughs> so you hit him. <laughs> okay. whoa, but roll whoa, a whoa, d4. Whoa. You realize, like, common people have, like, Four damage. have, like, an HP of, like, one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, like, did you kill what? him? Or, like, just like one him? to six. Like He can't be that weak. You just like slapped normal. him. You're, you're big. You're I, big. I'm still a tall dwarf. Here, let me roll a d6 and see what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, he's 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 not. He doesn't have a one. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Harry. He insulted us. <laughs> he did insult us because we know that this ruby in particular would be worth at least eight hundred. <laughs> and so I I pick him up and I dust him off. I'm like there, there, there. You're right. You're right. He uh he kind of glares <clears throat> at the big guy. He's like, all right. No more funny business. I, I understand. I understand now. He, lo- he looks like an idiot, but he's pretty scared. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. A little bit of respect, okay? All right. Well, uh, Harry's going to calm down because he knows that you're about to give me a proper deal mm-hmm. on this ruby. Continue licking my lollipop. <laughs> While making like <laughs> eye contact. <laughs> All right. Roll... Um, I get, are you trying to, are you either intimidation or persuasion, whichever method you're kind of like. I'm going to do persuasion, I okay. think. Sounds appropriate. 13 plus 8. So that's going to be 21. Okay. He says, listen, the most, it may be 800, 800 gold pieces retail, but I've got, I, there's no way that I can sell it here in Soft Hill. I'll have to transfer it to someone else to sell mm-hmm. in a bigger city like Prine or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, we got to make a profit off of it. I can give you tops 500 for it. 650. Yeah, I'm like, that's a bit of a loss for me because we're going back to Prine and maybe I could just sell it there. It, listen, I, th- I, I think you can do I think you can do six I think you can do six especially at the cost it took me to to get this this as, is not easy as she's saying that I'm just kind of getting like a practice swing in. <laughs> <laughs> not looking at him just kind of looking off to the side <laughs> he says listen if you had more than one I could give you a, a better bulk price for them because uh, I could sell a batch for a lot more than I could sell okay. one at a time. If I get you, let's say I got you three rubies instead of one, and I came back, how much would you give me for three? I could give you 1700 
for the three of them. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to take out two more rubies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost show bam. Um, yeah. And none of these are your ruby, right? No. no. Okay. <laughs> he, I didn't uh, even know she had them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what are you doing? Like, oh, <laughs> this girl. I, I look at Harry and just wink. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> our secret. He, uh, he, he says, do you, he doesn't reach for them right away. He says, do, do you mind if I, if I check these ones, please? Oh, Can please. I? Please inspect okay. them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he like takes a look at him and uh, he's like, "All right, well, so, z- sounds like a deal." All right, all right. He said seventeen hundred. Yeah, here you go. And he like pulls out a pouch and like kind of weighs it in his hand and and pours out a few coins and puts them in his pocket and then they mm-hmm. ties it up and tosses it to you. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> well. It was a pleasure doing business with you. What was your name again? <laughs> they call me uh, Der Gromley. Wait, what? Der Gromley. Der Gromley. Well, Der Gromley, <laughs> I, uh, I appreciate that you did business with me today. And I hope you have a really nice day. I'm a, I'm gonna go take Harry far away from you. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up. Thank to, you very much. I'm gonna walk up to him. Just like, yeah, dirt grummy. <laughs> just do a flinch on him. He like falls backwards <laughs> and like <laughs> scurries off. Um, I'm giving you uh, five hundred for your. You assistance. do you. You do you. I'm, I like to say it so That's, our yeah, listeners hey, know. He he trusts <laughs> you. Tatsu, what are you doing? Mm, well, she didn't go with them. But she yeah, she was not invited as the assumption. Yeah, she's very suspicious though. Mm-hmm. Of what? Uh, just everything. So she wakes up in the middle of the night. Oh, like we're past the night. We're, we're oh, okay. Well, she just starts like <laughs> snooping around looking for like in your quarters, basically. Or yeah. what? Yeah, start there. She'll start there, and okay. then she'll expand because she's always like looking for bad stuff <laughs> so like she's, she's looking to get in trouble or no she's looking, she's looking for bad guys oh she's a little bit she has like a vigilante bend to her so care. like you're looking around in alleyways just yeah looking for a fight yeah she's just I respect that yeah you see a uh, dwarf with a large kind of like the fantasy version of a trench coat uh He's got a bloody nose and he's kind of like stumbling out of an alley and like checking behind <laughs> his back. And, <laughs> and then he like scurries off. She follows him. Okay. He, uh, he scurries off, but he, he's like ducking and weaving behind people. You'll have to roll a, uh, investigation right. to see if you can kind of track him from, Twelve. Okay, he he, you kind of are able to tra- trace him to uh, kind of a seedier area of the town, but it's still. I mean, it's still a very clean city, so like it's not it's not as seedy as other seedy areas you've seen. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, uh, but he he disappears and he loses his you lose his his scent. Okay. <laughs> Um, and you, uh, are actually grabbed by a guard and says, are you, uh, are you the human named Tatsuo? Who wants to know? You've been summoned to the funeral of, of Vorum Kolosevsky. Yes. <laughs> she won. And, uh, same thing happens to everyone. Like you guys are approached by guards and, um, you're summoned to the funeral and I'm wearing all black and I did put on eyeliner. Okay. On the way on like, as he's like telling her, as she's walking away, she gives him like the, I'm watching you fingers, <coughs> you know, like two eyes, two eyes. Watching yeah. You. He puts his hand on his, the hilt of his ax <laughs> and oh he kind of nods and squints at you. <laughs> um, so everyone is, there is a kind of a large, uh, 
how do I describe like like cart basically but it is filled with um, logs and um, uh, it's basically like a funeral pyre but it's on wheels and has been pulled by horses and you have all been given horses for the funeral and you're kind of riding with the the Kolosevsky party and behind you um, if you look back are just like thousands of dwarves going behind you um, kind of following the family out you guys actually leave the city you leave the dune and uh, you proceed to the uh, the beach um, and the horses bring the cart into the ocean and uh, kind of anchor it there 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 are dwarves that anchor it into the the shore and uh, everyone kind of gathers around and a priest uh, comes up and, and he starts reciting a blessing in Dwarvish uh, about ushering Vorum into the dunes of Ocreus. And you guys are all kind of like standing around while um, this is happening. Do we, is, is the, I guess my, my father's on top of the... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so the priest gives his like kind of eulogy mm-hmm. prayer thing. Um, you googly. Yeah. Um, I I'm just sitting there. It's stoic. That's kind of what we're supposed to do as dwarves. Um, you guys all except for Reeve, none of you guys speak dwarvish, right? Or I guess Tatsu does. Yep, she does. Okay, but you, the other two, you guys don't know mm-hmm. what's happening. So. No. Um, other than you can kind of assume. You can tell yeah. by what's going on. I'm just going to remain quiet. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm just kind of nodding as I'm listening. Yeah. I'm not even going to play any music. Yeah. I might cry, though. <laughs> uh, the family, me. as we kind of talked about, is all dressed in formal blacks. You see, uh, you're standing with Joran and Sines and their wives, and uh, Joran's children are there. And um, the, the priest is wearing, like, a very fine white, silk robe with gold trimming and the large gold sun emblem is embroidered on his chest and is he's kind of like wading out into the ocean with his hands raised and, and giving this blessing and as you guys look behind you the the thousands of dwarves who were following you are all standing barefoot around the family on the beach and they're all holding round glass bowls with small fires inside of them and the uh, the priest lowers his arm and uh, Jaron wades into the water. Uh, his wife puts his her hand on on his shoulder on the shoulder of his son, and to stop him from following his father in. And when Jaron reaches the pyre, he unpins his son's sigil from his chest and places it on his father's body. Uh, and then he removes a a knife from his belt and cuts the rope that was tethering the pyre. Uh, and he turns his back as it starts to float out into the ocean. And then three older dwarven men and uh, two dwarven women lift up large glass plates above their head as the crowd behind you starts to walk towards the ocean on either side of your group. Um, the sun is just going down behind you, behind the dunes. And the uh, the lenses that the dwarves are holding up are harnessing the power and, and lighting the pyre on fire oh, cool. and uh, you see it kind of start to smoke and uh, Duran reaches the beach and he he picks up a lens of his own and, and holds it above you and and uh, as you guys are doing this and as the 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 pyre starts to catch on fire all the dwarves from the city are taking their glass bowls and placing them into the water and kind of like ushering them out into sea with the pyre a few dwarves hand you three not reeve but the rest of you uh glass bowls to participate as well if you choose yeah i'll participate mm-hmm. i just follow along because you know i don't really yeah. know i've never seen anything like this it's yeah cool. um so as the sun finally dips b- below the dunes the council of dunes lowers their lenses and thousands of voices start to sing a song um, that Reeve, you've not heard in many years. 
The sky around slowly darkens, but the light from the ocean illuminates all the faces around you as they continue to sing. Do I know the song? Um, roll a history check. Um, that's gonna be, sorry, 12. Um, you are familiar with it, but you wouldn't know it well enough to sing along. I just hum it. Okay. Uh, it's basically a, um, an old, old dwarven song that sings about, um, Ocreus and, and the, their heaven, basically. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I hear Bijou humming it and, uh, she's standing next to me, isn't she? Say it. Would she though? You're okay, royalty. So Bijou, you guys don't know whether Bijou is male or female. Bijou is pretty ambiguous. Oh, I apologize. It can pass for either. So I'm just saying you That's my best. It's okay. I yeah. She's so an elf though. They they, they they are an elf. They are an elf. Yeah. So sorry, is sorry. No, it's okay. It's a it, double sorry. So Bijou, no, it's okay. Bijou is standing next to me, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So I, I grab their hand. And um, as she's humming it, because it, you know, it's just kind of sweet. And I'm just like, it's like kind of like, it's not like a romantic thing. It's like a, a gesture of just thank you for being here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, as the sun sets and the funeral pyre floats out into the ocean with all the light, um, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you everyone for listening. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>